Welcome back, everyone, to sunny and getting warmer Houston. Over the five years we've been doing this show, we have met some wonderful and occasionally wacky sportsman racers. And today, Bob Fry has a guy. How do I describe this? It's kind of a cross between. No, that's. I tell you what, watch this and you'll see why I am at a loss for words. Jim Capiello is not exactly what you'd call your typical good old boy Texas drag racer. In fact, in these parts, Jim's TV commercials have made him kind of a cult hero. I get the crazy ideas and we, you know, we get the, the crew in here when we do it. When you see one of our commercials, you're going to remember it and you'll just, you'll never forget it and you'll be here. Jim was once a mechanic, but quit his job to open the Texas Music Emporium, otherwise known as the music store that ate my brain. You know, it's 1950s sci-fi movies, is what it is, you know, and, and there's greeting cards, you know, this that ate my brain, that that ate my brain, and we just uh, incorporated it into the business, and the music store that ate my brain, I said, well, heck, why not do it, you know, let's do the race car that ate my brain, and so on and so forth, and it's got national attention, you know, our, our t-shirts are known all over the country right now, and, and so is the store, you know. <laughs> Jim's business sells wholesale to the public, and he offers full service from repairs to music lessons. When Jim isn't at work, well, I guess you can call it work, he's drag racing in both Super Street and Super Gas. His Super Street car is a 509 cubic inch powered Camaro, and his Super Gas Beretta is powered by, well, by rock and roll. As you can see, Jim's commercial antics seem to follow him to the track, and that might just reflect his attitude toward the sport. You know, it's a hobby, and that's the way I want to keep it. I don't want to be traveling around the country. You know, we do, but, you know, we do it as fun. Let's get away from this and go do that, you know? And it's, you know, just good to get away from this and do that, and the return side is good to come back and do this, you know? <laughs> the past three years has seen Jim win three national events in both classes, and this includes him eating the brains off the competition at the Slick 50 race last year. Oh, it was terrific, you know, being hometown, you know, it's, uh, you know, we won first in uh, Kansas and we didn't know nobody. It's like, oh, here we are, all right, it was great, you know, let's go home and call everybody, you know. Well, here we got to do it in front of everybody, you know. It was a lot of, you know, customers that had seen us out there and just, you know, people that we raced with and everything, and it was just terrific. Bob, check this court out. Hey, there's one thing about music and drag racing. The more you hang around them, they both become part of you. Eddie Van Halen, eat your heart out. For NHRA Today, I'm Bob Fry. Love the look, Bobby. It's you, man. Well, 